So I did a bunch of flat grinds today. The um, the contact wheel that I use isn't balanced for the speeds that I want to run at. I want to run the belt at 7,000 surface feet per minute at the top speed. And this little motor does that. The contact wheel starts to vibrate about 5,200 surface feet per minute to the point that it's just not effective. So I need to get a buy a better contact wheel. So today I wanted to go ahead and run this motor up because I've done quite a few quite a few hollow grinds at three quarter power, but I wanted to go ahead and take it up and get uh, full power and see how that worked on it. See if anything, see if the motor would hold up and stuff. The motor held up amazing. So I put on the flat platen, set it up for. I tried some different bevels, just experimenting a little bit for different uh, degrees. Grinding at 7,000 surface feet per minute, it just comes off like butter. I mean, it's amazing how fast it grinds. Hollow grinding was really fast. I mean, I've ground fast before with my other machine, but I'd forgotten how fast it grinds. You can see that I started out here, I started out at 84.5 degrees. And, you know, 84.4, 84.3, and then these two down here are ended up being at 83.3. I took a jump down, working on getting uh, the line where I want it at the same time that I get the thickness where I want it on the flat grind. 83.3 is going to be the number. There's one marked up 83.3. So 83.3 is going to be the number that gives me the edge thickness that I want for preheat treatment when I get to the target that I want on the side there. So all of these numbers are higher. So I can just put them back in with the guide set up for 80 or with the platen set up for 83.3 and I'll regrind these so that they match these here. Anyway, I've almost ground through all my blanks, so I've got two, four, six more of those to go, and 16 of these to go, and then I'm going to send off for heat treat. Here's the rest. These are all hollow ground up here. See, that does a real nice job. This thing's fast, clean. And then these are all flat ground, and I'm going to go ahead and grind the rest of those six flat grinds as well. So I'll have about 17, 18 of them hollow ground, and about 16 of them flat ground. Is that right? 2, 4, 6, 7, 13 of them flat ground. Thanks for watching. Take care. All right, I'm going to run this at 7,000 surface feet per minute. Give a demonstration on how fast it hollow gr uh, flat grinds. Go ahead and spin this back.
All right, so that ground in just a minute or two. Now I'll flip that over and we'll grind the other side. Grind this side. light on this thing. Now what I'm going to do is leave the guide in exactly that position. I'm going to flip the blank back over to its original side, to the first side that I ground and then match grind the other side to this one. That way they become they're perfectly matched. Because I haven't moved the I won't have moved the guide between the time that I finish this one and when I finish the other one.
right, so now what I'm going to do is just skim a little bit more off this one to match the other side. I'm going to skim a little bit more off of here to match the other side. The guide hasn't moved yet. All right, so now the sides match. And we got the edge thickness that I want for preheat treatment. Now when these come back from, now the sides match. Got the edge thickness that I want for heat treat, preheat treatment. When these come back, I'll take down a few thousands more with a finer grit. This is an 80 grit on there right now. And this whole thing can take about uh, six minutes to grind one to this level.